Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street. Bill Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of my incredible subscribers up there. Look at that number. It's growing every single day. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I love talking with everyone in the comments and the community tab. So if you're new to this channel, please make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on the little bell notification as well because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing, be through cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. Come along on this incredible journey, everyone. Also, guys, if you can watch the video straight through and smash the like button, it would really help me and this algorithm push out to a lot more people, and I would appreciate it. Give it a good old thumbs up. All right, guys, let's get into it. Little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. It can be extremely risky and volatile. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. Please, please, please jump on all the websites I've recommended in all my videos, Masari.io, Lunar Crush, Reddit, Medium, TikTok, Google everything. Use Twitter on a daily basis because you'll get updates. Get confident before jumping into any kind of investment. And also, my golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. Yes, we do not like to lose, but you have to set a limit for yourself, guys, because you can lose money like that in cryptos. And I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. All right, so please be careful. Don't take what I say as financial advice. All right, guys, now formalities are out of the way straight into it i put up a couple of posts in my community tab the other day and uh, let's just have a look here we'll go back to here xrp price prediction i put up the video from val hill capital the managing director stating that xrp at the end of the video after global adoption could potentially hit 10 to thirty thousand dollars yes i know that is extreme the market cap would be absolutely ridiculous and i'm going to show you something interesting in a second but XRP price prediction, so 44% said $10, $16 said $100, 10% said $1,000, 24% said $10,000, and obviously 6% said other. Now I've got some other things as well. How many times do you check your crypto a day? This is me personally. I, I check it multiple times a day, like it's just borderline insanity. So 11% said once, 12% said three times, 22% of you said five times, 50% said every five minutes. That's awesome. Keep scrolling up here. So the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF begins trading on Monday, which is today in Australia. So we are the 18th. It is Monday here, which is unbelievable. So 65% XRP will pump. Uh, Cardano, 13% VeChain, XDC, and others. So 27 people commented below. Let's have a look here. Shiba Inu. Uh, we've got some other ones here. XRLAM, XDC. Love all these coins, by the way. Satima, Elon, Kishnu, FEG. Well, I'm, I'm probably only an Elon, one of those Elon Gate or whatever it's called. I'm not really interested in that one. But anyway, Harmony one. And a bit early, yes, I woke up very early this morning, so uh, that's probably the reason why. All right, so I'm going to show you something interesting in relation to the market cap, and yes, and we'll get into some other stuff as well, but this is an interesting website. It's called The Coin Perspective. It's a great website to check the market cap, right? So obviously, you can see, you can check any cryptocurrency if you want to put in a price that you're aiming to see it at and what the market cap would have to be at. So if we go to XRP sitting at eight USD at the moment, okay, so say, for example, I want to put in, um, you know, three dollars for example it would have a market cap of 140 billion dollars and i'm going to show you my coin spot account obviously that's in australian dollars to what the market cap so it would require a market cap of 140 billion let's go ten dollars so it would have to have a market cap of 468 billion dollars now people are going to think well you know it's or current but last i checked it was about 71 million a billion uh aud last night i haven't checked it this morning not to be quite honest but you know, that's not out of the realm of possible, guys. $10 is easily, it, it can happen. I mean, the amount of money that is going to be transacting through XRP, you know, through institutions, you know, it would easily get to that. I don't see that as impossible. Again, that video I put up from Val Hill Capital yesterday, I mean, people said it's crazy. You know, you're, you're, it's not going to happen. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a long shot, guys. I mean, if you look at $10,000, and you can see right here, it would need a market cap of $468 trillion. Well, if you look at the total derivatives market, all the money that goes through SWIFT, bridges, finance, financial institutions that transact trillions of dollars a week, literally on a global scale, who knows what's going to happen in five to 10 years, guys, that could really happen. I mean, I mean, even Bitcoin could go absolutely parabolic. You know, if I was to go here, for example, let's just go Bitcoin, 60, uh, 61,000 uh, USD, it's up 0.03% today. So if I'm going to say here, into your price target. Let me see if this works. I haven't done this for Bitcoin actually. I'm just gonna, you can see it on the screen there. All right, let's, so let's just say 150,000. 
Let me see that there. How many zeros have I got there? One, two, three. There we go. So it would need a market cap $2.8 trillion, guys. So the entire market cap, for crypto market cap at the moment is sitting at around that $2, $2 trillion US around that mark. So 2.8, it would require for 150,000 BTC. Now that this ETF is coming online, that is very possible, guys. Honestly, it really is. And you know, some people are saying in the future that even though Kathy Woods from ARK Invest, who's a huge ETF, you know, investing in technologies and stuff like huge firm, you know, she's saying a million dollars. So let's have a look at the market cap here. So one, two, three. So how many zeros have we got here? One, two, three, one, two, three. So one zero this, one, two, three, one, two, three. There you go. That's a million dollar uh, BTC, guys. So a million dollars Bitcoin would have a market cap of $18.8 .8 trillion for a $1 million Bitcoin. Look, who knows what's going to happen in the future? It is a very real possibility, guys. And obviously, we've got our other ones here. I mean, like, I mean, you can go Shiba Inu. Oh, just for an example, right? If you want to see this at a dollar. I mean, this is crazy stuff, but I mean, this is probably near impossible. But it, you know, never say never in cryptos, man. I never, I never doubt anything, right? Even if one penny, let's go this. So uh, let's just do one dollar. So we need a market cap of four hundred ninety-seven trillion dollars. That's crazy. Anyway, so that's pretty much it in terms of that. But uh, you can see here, guys. Obviously, news XRP is the most popular crypto um, in the UK because it's part of the digital pound now, which is incredible. And you know what's funny about that? I found that registration of the company for like what weeks weeks and weeks ago and they only just announced it last week and i don't know why they didn't make it public but i actually located it in the video and it's funny how i've just you know anyway they kept that one very quiet guys so in a recent report by the eToro trading who's obviously another trading platform here xrp emerged as the most popular cryptocurrency in q3 of 2021 guys it's only going to get really bullish now so ripple has partnered with digital pound foundation to support the creation of the uk central bank digital currency the digital pound sterling guys so this is happening it's going to be parabolic guys i don't care what happens with this case because it's already being adopted by all the banks around the world the technology is there analysts are bullish on xrp price predicting the big move in an altcoin within the next two days so this is a news article that's really recent guys like this morning so in a third quarter of this year xrp became the number one cryptocurrency in the uk According to social trading platform eToro, XRP holders are among bullish on the proceedings in the SEC versus Ripple case. I'm very bullish. I think it's going to get uh, obviously dismissed or settled very easily. Now let's go straight into this and I'm going to get into X, uh, obviously some updates with, uh, with relation to the case as well. So you've got here the first Bitcoin futures ETF in the US is set to begin trading at the, uh, the week ahead so it's today um it goes live under the ticker symbol bito um i tried to look it up on the proshares website proshares bitcoin etf strategy will give exposure to bitcoin futures contracts but not the spot market we'll trade under the ticker bito so i've got some interesting stuff in relation to that here's the entire filing to the S, uh, sec believe it or not this is um the registration statement guys for the pro um the proshares trust uh, in relation to this ETF that's coming live this morning. So BITO is the ticker symbol. And this is the whole filing. It's a huge report here. So it's some interesting stuff here. So the fund seeks to provide capital appreciation primarily through actively managed exposure to Bitcoin futures contracts. The fund does not invest directly into Bitcoin, but it's just one step further in the future of what's coming here, guys, for institutional money to pour into cryptocurrencies. It is the future that is being accepted right now because it's so big and there's so much money transacting all the wealthy want a piece of it guys i'm telling you now the wealthy want a piece of bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market because it is going parabolic this month in october just expect big things i'm expecting some really big things happening here with you know all cryptocurrencies and all the altcoins especially as well so bitcoin is a digital asset sometimes referred to as a digital currency or cryptocurrency the ownership and operation of bitcoin is determined by participants in the online peer-to-peer -peer network the network connects computers that run publicly accessible and open source software that follows the let's scroll up here because this is a huge report guys the rules and procedures governing bitcoin network this is commonly referred to as the bitcoin protocol so i'm not going to read through the, everything here so bitcoin futures contracts standardized cash settled bitcoin futures contracts traded on the commodity exchange registered with the commodity futures trading commission cftcs currently the only such contracts are traded on or subject to the rules of chicago mercantile exchange the value of Bitcoin futures is determined by reference of CME, CF Bitcoin Research Reference Rate, uh, BPR, which provides uh, an indication 
of the price of Bitcoin across certain cash Bitcoin exchanges. The fund seeks to invest in cash settled front month Bitcoin futures. Front month Bitcoin futures contracts are those contracts with the shortest time to maturity. The fund expects to gain exposure by investing in a, pro a portion of its assets into wholly owned subsidiary of the fund organized under the laws of Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands and advised by pro-fund advisors. The fund generally expects to invest approximately 25% of its total assets in this subsidiary, guys. This is a lot of money we're talking about here. The fund may, however, exceed this amount from time to time in the advisor believes, doing so in the best interest of the fund, such as to help the fund achieve its investment objective or manage tax uh, efficiency of the fund. Exceeding this amount may have tax consequences to see section blah, 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 blah. Anyways, this is a full-blown report. I'll link it below so you can have a read of it. This is basically what the fund is going to be basically be doing here. You've got here products. Obviously, it is not live on ProShares website yet. I'm sure it will be by tonight here in Australia. So again, we're a day ahead here, which is really annoying. But anyway, so we always get the news later when we wake up in the morning. This is why I wake up early in the morning. So these are all the ETFs. And basically, if you're buying an ETF, you're basically buying a, like a basket of stocks, like a companies and stuff like that. So it's obviously dealing specifically with Bitcoin futures going to be interesting guys institutional money is starting to pour into cryptocurrencies wait and see what's going to happen with the old coins this is going to be crazy man because it's setting a precedence you know if one institutional firm or a uh, an etf fund gets approved there's like 40 others that are going to be approved so i strongly believe and foresee that the cryptocurrency bull run will continue into next year because of this um, institutional money coming in. I, I, I really believe that. And I think we're going to be prepared for a crazy rise and potentially a, a drop later on, you know, next year, probably early next year, you know, maybe March, April, around that period that it will drop down. You know, but who knows what's going to happen here, guys. We may not see this end of the bull run for quite some time because of the institutional money pouring in. Anyway, that's pretty much it in regards to that. I'm going to get into some Twitter stuff now. And you've got here some updates in relation to uh, the case. So Jeremy Hogan just tweeted 21 hours ago. So nice by Cat Crypto J. Good find here from Judge Torres. Prior order. Discovery in this action has already been extended and the court is not inclined to permit further delay by granting intervention and prolonging discovery, guys. Let's see her be consistent here. Obviously, this is in relation to extending it again and delaying it. The judge does not want to do that, which is fantastic. Very bullish times for XRP, guys. And you've got here another tweet from XRP, which I've retweeted on my Twitter page. So XRP facts and fictions debunking the XRP ledger. So check this out here. XRP is centralized. Well, that's a myth. The truth is XRP ledger is decentralized. This is incredible as well. Keep scrolling down here. I'm going to pause this so it doesn't play. So myth, XRP can be added to the ledger. The truth, even if a bad actor attempted to add unauthorized XRP to the ledger, the consensus protocol protocol ensures no single authority can execute on this more than 66 million ledgers have been successfully closed since the xrp ledger was first conceived myth xrpl has hidden fees the truth just like any other public blockchain transaction fees are applied on the xrp ledger myth blockchains can't be decentralized scalable and secure truth the blockchain trilemma uh, trilemma sorry is the model and um, conceptualize the challenges of block all blockchains face stating that the platforms cannot be truly decentralized, scalable, and secure all at once. The truth is the XRP ledger was first and is one of the only few blockchains able to run a decentralized on-chain limit order book exchange in near real time. Guys, this is crazy, man. And obviously you can see here, it can sustain up to a maximum um, throughput of up to 1,500 transactions transactions per second scalable and is managed by a range of diverse participants who collectively confirm transactions and approve proposed amendments guys this is crazy just uh, just blows my mind to think where we're going with cryptos man honestly it's just going to change the game for sure and we are again ahead of the institutional money let's have a look at coin spot today obviously i just want to show you what's happening with bitcoin there is a referral link below guys feel free to use that you can get ten dollars in bitcoin it's only going to go to 150 grand it will definitely so bitcoin sitting at eighty four thousand. ethereum 5300 guys bnb 650 dollars cardano two two dollars and 98 cents xrp is a dollar 51 it will tick over and everything will start to go in the green today because of the ProShares ETF coming out. Solana's $220, Polkadot $58, Dogecoin $0.32. Cents. Shiba Inu guys is up 7.65%. VeChain is $0.16, cents. very bullish on that one. XLM $0.53, cents. ICP $60. 
Keeps growing in here. Theta, $8.28. Um, what have we got here? XTZ, $9.18. Hedera, $0.49 cents today. Bullish on that one as well. Quant is at $416. Neo, $60, guys. And XDC, my other favorite here. Let's just wait for this one. It is at $0.14. Cents. Great buying opportunity. Really is, guys. Obviously, if you can see all my holdings here in my coin market cap. Okay, so total market cap of the entire crypto market is $3.3 trillion. 24-hour trading volume has been $114 billion. BTC is 46% dominant, 18% Ethereum. That's really not changing at the moment. 24 hours were down, seven days. It always happens on a Sunday night, believe it or not. So seven days still in the green and the rest of it's all in the green, which is awesome. Going to go my portfolio now just to show you. Then we're going to get into three commas to show you what's doing at the moment. Okay, so Bitcoin is up, which is great. Cardano, XRP, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Stellar, VeChain, Tron, Theta, Hedera, Neo, BTT, Amp, Holochain, Theta Fuel, XDC, Telcoin, Sia Coin, Digibyte, ANKR, Winlink, XYO, Reef, very bullish on this one, VThor, Constellation DAG, Ecomi, Electronium, Acropolis, Ubix Network, and the rest of them are just plays for me. I'm not going to mention those other ones that I do not like, right? So I'm just holding it to get my money out of it, basically. All right, so let's get straight into three commas, guys. There is a referral link below for three commas. It is, um, this is my portfolio at the moment on Binance trading at the moment, so 1,654 US dollars. You can see here on the day today, it's already made me $4.50 because the market is quiet. It's made me $121 USD in total profits, which is ridiculous. That is awesome. And again, I've got $1 cost averaging bot running with 21 deals. And uh, you can see all my deals here, guys. Dot, Waves, Hint, XEM, Rune, MKR, Digibyte, uh, SKL, SFP, ANKR, OMG, SRM, Comp, CVC, Alpha, EOS, Seller, XMR. BTC Bitcoin is up today, which is awesome. Quantum and Carver, guys, they're my longest deals that are still waiting from the 14th of October. But guys, it's making me money passively. Can't complain about that. $4.50. Again, I reckon it's making me about $10 to $11 every single day. US dollars. Can't complain about that. I have put a video up on how to set up your bot. Check that out, guys. I'll link it up here now. All right, let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think is going to happen this week. Are we going to go parabolic? Let's talk about it in the comments, all right? Stay safe. Peace, bye.